Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of Minecraft. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. You are standing in the overworld looking down on a lush green forest with blue lakes and rivers throughout. Looking out further to the horizon, there are mountain blocks peeking through puffy white cloud blocks. The sky is bright blue and the sun is shining. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your chest and belly fill with the fresh air. Then breathe out through your mouth. Feel your chest and belly return to their size. Since you are in the world of Minecraft, you too are made of blocks. In the high up overworld, before you begin your journey, take a moment to bring your attention to how your blocky body feels. You have two rectangular blocks for feet and they are covered by leather. These leather boots are a valuable item in the Minecraft world. They can combine with other items you find along your way to increase your armor. For now, Step your right booted foot down, then your left. They will keep you planted sturdily on the ground in this world. Your ankle and knee blocks are perfectly aligned to your feet, helping you stand up strong. Make sure your hip blocks are balanced evenly, aligned with your stance. Your spine is straight and tall, as if it's made of 10 blocks stacked, one on top of the other, above your hips. These blocks extend all the way up to your neck and holding your head up confidently. Each part of your body is strong and supported. Your blocky shoulders are balanced out to either side of you and perfectly aligned with your hips. Imagine your head is a block that sits on the very top of you and it's clear of anything besides what you see in this world. On the bottom of your field of vision, you have an inventory visible. There are 10 bright red hearts in a row. This is your health monitor. Throughout your journey through this world, be sure to check in on your health monitor to make sure it's full and you are at your strongest. You also have an ax to help you gather materials. Now you are ready to explore the world of Minecraft. You gently drop into the first biome to explore. You stand up on your blocky feet and see that you are in a jungle. You are standing below a tall tree on a bed of fallen leaves that form the jungle floor. As you begin to walk, you can hear the leaves crunch under your footsteps. You can also hear faint sounds of animals that live in the jungle. Birds are chirping in the trees above you. 
What other animals live in this forest? You continue walking through the jungle and decide what material to get. As you walk and crunch the leaves below your feet, you notice the jungle tree leaves are dropping all around like raindrops. One after another, dropping from high above to the jungle floor. Most of them are small dark green leaves that float down effortlessly. Others though are bigger, rectangular, leaf-like materials that are heavier so they fall to the floor more quickly. One of those falls just ahead of you Walk over to it and pick it up. It's a jungle tree sapling. Gather this and a few other saplings that you see on the ground and keep them with you for now. There are plenty of trees where you are and because there are so many trees, it's too shady and dim to plant the sapling. Keep walking under the dense treetops and crunching the fallen leaves beneath your steps until you come to a spot with more sunshine. There's a spot up ahead. A single sunbeam shines down on a clearing in the dense jungle trees. Now let's plant the saplings in the powerful sunshine. You were able to collect three of them, so let's plant all three. Take the first bright green rectangular sapling out and place it on the ground, followed by the second and the third. Great job. Take a step back with your blocky feet and allow the sunlight to grow the trees right before your eyes. The trees grow bigger and bigger, infused with sunshine. The saplings are now as tall as you. As if you were a sapling, able to infuse yourself with sunshine and grow, take a moment to feel the warm sunshine on your face and your skin. Focus on the warmth and taking deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth while the trees grow taller and taller. You can hear the sounds of birds chirping and squawking, getting closer. The trees have now grown up to full size. You use your tools to get a little bit of wood from one of the tree trunks in case you need it later. As you're chipping away, the chirping bird sounds get even closer. All around you now are many brightly colored parrots. These are tameable mobs that are friendly. They flock to the trees that you grew for them and begin making their nests. They are so thankful for more places to live in the jungle. You focus on one bright yellow parrot as it flies around investigating the new trees. It notices you too, and instead of landing on a tree branch, flies straight to you and lands on your shoulder. It quietly squawks as it sits on your shoulder. Parrots are helpful because they can hear hostile mobs approaching when you cannot. 
Your parrot friend will alert you if something is coming by, imitating the sound they hear. This will be helpful along your journey. Continuing along the jungle floor, you see a big structure spawning up ahead. Walk towards it with your parrot friend on your shoulder. As you approach, you can see that it's a massive jungle pyramid that reaches high into the sky like a stone castle. It's made of blocks of cobblestone and moss and is almost hidden by the tall, dense jungle trees that almost completely surround it. Standing before the stone structure, you feel small and curious as to what's inside. The entrance is an open archway. Walk through it and let's see what there is to explore in the jungle pyramid. There are three big steps to get to the entrance. Hop up on the first, then the second, and lastly, the third. Walking through the entrance into the pyramid, it feels cooler as you stand in a big open space with a single set of stairs that takes you to a basement floor. There are two staircases on either side that will take you to the top floor. Looking down the center staircase to the basement floor, you wonder what could be down there. It looks dark since there are no windows. You decide to check your inventory to see if you can craft a torch. You see that you have some wool, wood, a single piece of charcoal, an axe, and a one stick. Can you make a torch with any combination of these items? You can. If you combine the stick with the piece of coal, you can craft four torches. Your parrot friend squawks, watching you work diligently crafting your torch. You decide to use one now to light your path down to the basement and keep the other three in your inventory in case you need it. With your torch held high in your hand and your parrot friend still on your shoulder, you begin to carefully walk down the steps one by one so you don't trip. Step your right block foot down the first step, then your left block foot, right, left, right, left, all the way down the staircase. Now on the basement level, the flickering flame from your torch lights up just enough for you to see all four cobblestone walls. There's moss trailing along them and a misty feeling in this cool, darkened place. You turn around in a circle using your torch to light up each area of this level. Directly behind you, there's a wall of blocks with three levers on them. You walk over to them. Do these levers open something? Reach your hand up and grab one of the levers. It's a little difficult to pull down but use your strong block arms to pull it all the way down. When you do, you hear a heavy mechanical sound behind the blocks, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. The lever beside it is in the down position. So you set your torch on the cobblestone wall 
and use both hands to strongly push the lever into the upright position. You hear another heavy mechanical sound coming from behind the wall. There's one last lever that is in the center position. Which direction do you think you should move it? Once you decide, do the same with the last lever. You hear the same sound again, but this time you hear gears turning too. All of a sudden the blocks open up and reveal a secret room. You solve the jungle pyramid puzzle. The secret room is small, but around one of the corners, you see a chest for you to fill your inventory with. You open the chest and see that you've added bamboo, diamond inglot, and an enchanted book to your inventory. Can you craft any of these new items with what you already have in your inventory? You look down to your block feet booted with leather and remember that they can be combined with other items. If you craft the enchanted book with your leather boots, it could give you the feather falling enchantment that would protect you against falling or tripping in this world. It worked. You now have the feather falling protection. Great job. Turn back around and head out of the secret room. Back up the staircase and out of the jungle pyramid. You are standing at the entrance of the pyramid facing the lush green jungle. Hop down the three big steps with your block feet. Hop down the first, then the second, and lastly, the third. Resume walking through the jungle, enjoying the breeze as it floats through the trees, gently blowing the leaves all around. The sun is beginning to set and the world is cast in shades of pink. There are a few blocky light pink clouds floating in the sky above the jungle. It's almost nighttime, so you need to build somewhere to sleep for the night. You are standing on grass and dirt blocks in the jungle surrounded by oak trees that can be used as logs. Take a look at your inventory to see what tools you can use to build your house. You have an axe. Use that to get the oak logs from the tree. You can also use the axe to dig into the jungle hills to create a flat platform for your house. You ax your way through a hill, strike by strike. Slowly but surely, you flatten the hill and have the perfect spot ready to start building your house with oak logs. You walk to every tree you can see and grab one log after another. You place the first log down on the flat ground then another forming an L shape, then another and another until you have a square base on which to continue building your house. As you continue layering the oak logs until the walls of your house are nearly done, your parrot friend makes a noise letting you know that there's a hostile mob nearby. You look around and see that a zombie mob has spawned since the sun has nearly set. It's running straight towards you. 
To get away, you run up a tree, block by block. It's able to follow you and is close behind you. That's when you remember you have the feather falling protection. Standing on the very top of the tree, you and your parrot friend jump down from the tree into the house you are building. As you float gently and smoothly through the air, arriving safely inside the newly built walls of your house, you quickly use the rest of your wood blocks to fully block in the door and roof of your house and protect yourself and your parrot from the zombie. Great job. Once you're safely in your house, you look back at your health monitor. All the commotion from the zombie mob has lessened your health by two hearts. Now you can focus on regaining your health back. Looking back at your tools, you see that you have wool and wood. You decided to make a soft, cozy bed to sleep on. You place the wood logs one on top of the other and then cover it with a blanket of fuzzy wool. It's a little chilly in the nighttime, so you set up your three remaining torches around you in your house. You set up one as a fireplace where you can cook dinner, another on the wall as a lamp, and the last right by your new bed to keep you warm through the night. You plop down on your bed with the glowing light from the fireplace warming your entire house. You take a deep breath in. When you cannot take in any more air, pause for a quick moment Place your hands over your heart and feel its steady beat. Then, slowly, breathe all the air out through your mouth. You take one quick look back at your inventory and see that you have something you didn't notice before. It's a cookie. You enjoy your surprise cookie laying in your soft, warm bed and peacefully drift off to sleep. You are here in creative mode, flying slowly above a grassy plains overworld, looking for a cozy place to land. You spot a patch of sunflowers generating and decide to land there. The sun is rising and you are surrounded by soft grass and bright yellow flowers. I am so happy you are here getting comfy and creative with me in the sunflower plains. Let's start by placing our hands on our chest, one on top of the other. Then let's take a big slow breath in through our noses. Feel your chest rise as it fills with fresh, crisp morning air. When you cannot take in any more air, hold it in your chest for a moment and feel your heart beat once, twice, three times. All you ever need is right there with you. Then, use your tummy muscles to push out all the air through your mouth. Feel your chest lower back down and your breathing return to its natural rhythm as you look over your inventory. Just as you have everything you need with your heartbeat, you also have everything you could ever want and need in Minecraft right here with you. 
there are building blocks, delicious foods, tools, potions, and even a snowball. As the sun rises over the eastern horizon, coloring the sky with glowing orange, each of the sunflowers turn their petals to watch. Slowly turn your head all the way to one side as if you are looking at the rising sun along with the sunflowers. Then slowly turn your head all the way to the other side. Over there you can see and hear a clear blue river flowing. While it's cool and crisp in the morning, let's see what we can build with our endless inventory. You grab one snow block and set it down right in front of you. The tall grass flattens under their icy weight. Grab one more snow block and place it on top of that one. Your hands are a little chilly from handling the snow. Then lastly, let's grab one jack-o'-lantern head. Fly yourself up a little to place the jack-o'-lantern head on the very top of the two stacked snow blocks. Once the head is secured at the top, you see two stick arms jut out from either side of the middle snow block and the entire thing begins to move. You've built a Minecraft snow golem. It spawns from where you built it and will always stay by your side. This snow golem will create a circle of protection around you. The morning sun is shining down on you, warming up your chilly hands. Will your snow golem melt in the powerful sunbeams? To make sure it doesn't, let's go back to our items and see what we can do. There are several potions available to you. Let's give your snow golem the potion of invisibility to protect it from the sun while it's protecting you. It sips the potion and pixel by pixel becomes invisible. You can still feel its presence around you, making sure you are taken care of. Allow yourself to feel held by your invisible snow golem and the soft grass beneath you. Take one last moment to make sure your whole body is as comfortable as possible. All the way from the top of your head, down your neck, spine, and hips, to the bottoms of your toes. Let's take another big, slow breath in through our noses. Feel your chest rise as it fills with fresh, crisp morning air. Holding your breath, feel the space the air created. Your ribs can now open and your spine can now lengthen. With your chest open and your spine long, use your tummy muscles to push out all the air through your mouth. Push your shoulders far away from your ears as you feel your chest lower back down. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm. You might not always notice it, but your heart and your lungs are doing their part to keep you going and to protect you, just like your invisible snow golem. With all this support around you, let's make sure we are giving our bodies the proper support so we can be as strong as possible. From your items, you can use the Potion of Strength. Imagine the potion 
is a powdery dust that is sprinkled all around you. While it falls freely, sprinkles of strength land on your shoulders, your neck, your back, and your hips. These make up the bedrock of your body that you build from. Take two blocks of bedrock from your item list. Use one for your hips, allowing them to share the weight of each side of your body evenly. Use the second as your shoulders, stacked on top of your hips, allowing them to share the weight of each side evenly as well. The two blocks are connected with your spine and your neck. Your bedrock foundation is unshakable. From there, let's build out your arms and legs with the second strongest block, obsidian. Grab four blocks from your item list. Let each of your arms hang heavy along your sides like shiny black obsidian just mined from the ground. Let each of your legs hang just as heavy, made from the same material. With our next big breath in, make your bedrock and obsidian body rigid as the stones they are made of. Strengthen every muscle in your fortified body to feel how strong you are. Let's take another big, slow breath in through our noses. Strengthen your shoulders, arms, belly, legs, and ankles to be stiff and firm. Holding your breath and your muscles in tight, feel and appreciate your own strength that's always with you. Then use your tummy muscles to push out all the air through your mouth. Push your shoulders far away from your ears as you feel your chest lower back down. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm and thank your body for being so strong. Thank you, body. The sun is directly above you shining its warmth onto the top of your head. You feel the gentle breeze of your invisible, protective snow golem circling around you. It's making sure nothing can harm you while you are here, relaxing your body and your mind. The sunflower's petals follow the sun as it travels across the sky every day. They are looking their petals up toward the sun, taking in all the sunshine. Like the sunflowers, slowly lift your head up high to look at the afternoon sun. Feel the front of your neck stretch out long and the sunshine on your face. The river is still flowing beside you Focus on that sound while you pause here for a moment. Then slowly lower your head all the way down to look at your heart, which is still beating, beating, beating like a stone skipping through the river. Focus on that sound while you pause here for a moment to feel the back of your neck stretch out long. Bring your head back to a comfortable resting position, making sure your ears are far away from your shoulders and your neck is as straight as possible. Like the flowing river beside you, our minds can sometimes move very quickly. Thoughts are like a river that rushes through our minds. When our minds rush, 
our bodies tense up without us realizing it, and our protective snow golems have to work harder to keep us safe. If they work too hard, they melt, and we would be left without them. We have everything we need to keep this from happening. Let's look through our inventory to see what we have to work with. There's another potion that might help us calm our rushing river minds. The Potion of Slowness. The potion turns the river into a calming bath with warm water surrounding you. The stillness of the water in this bath allows you to float here in the warm water completely held by it. Allow your body to feel heavy here. Let the muscles that we just made tense, relax, and be squishy. Everything around you is now slow moving. You are able to pause all of the river's water droplets from rushing forward. While they are paused, you can see the sunshine reflect off of each of them and enjoy the warm stillness it creates. While the river is slow, let's use some more of our materials to construct a dam for when the potion wears off. This dam will be able to hold what we want in and allow what we don't want to spill over the top and rush away. Let's use five blocks of bright orange concrete to make our dam so the structure can be visible in the clear blue water. Let's pick up each block with a little inhale through our nose and set it in place with a little exhale through our mouth. Starting on one side of the river, inhale through your nose and pick up the first orange block as you exhale through your mouth. Set the concrete block in place, working sideways from that first block. Inhale through your nose and pick up the second orange block. As you exhale through your mouth, set the concrete block down next to the first. Continuing from the second block, Inhale through your nose and pick up the third orange concrete block. As you exhale through your mouth, set that one down next to the second. On to the next. Inhale through your nose and pick up the fourth orange concrete block. As you exhale through your mouth, set that one down next to the third. Last one, you are all the way on the other side of the river now. Inhale through your nose and pick up the last block. As you exhale through your mouth, set the last orange concrete block on the other side of the river in a perfect line with the last four. You did it. You made the first layer of the dam. For the second layer, grab three yellow stained glass blocks. These will reflect the light of the sun and make beautiful prisms when the river starts rushing again. Let's take bigger breaths as we build up the second layer. Starting on the same side of the river as last time, take a bigger inhale through your nose and pick up the first yellow glass block as you exhale through your mouth. 
set the concrete block directly on top of the first orange concrete block. The clear blue water level reaches all the way to the middle of the second layer. Moving to where you set the third orange concrete block in the first layer, take a bigger inhale through your nose and pick up the second glass block as you exhale through your mouth. Set the yellow block directly on top of the third orange concrete block in the middle of the dam. Great job. Now for the last stained glass block, take a big inhale through your nose and pick it up. As you exhale, go all the way to the other side of the river and place the third glass block on top of the fifth orange concrete block. Now you made the second layer of the dam by placing glass blocks on top of the first, third, and fifth concrete blocks. Instead of using five yellow glass blocks to go on each of the orange concrete blocks, we only used three. This leaves space over the second and fourth orange blocks for the water and any thoughts we don't want to flow through. Now we can keep only what we want in the dam of our river minds and let the rest of it spill over and rush far away from us. As the river starts flowing again, let's take one last deep breath in and watch the dam you built in action. Take a big, slow breath in through your nose. Feel your mind clear of any worries you have. Holding your breath, feel the space you have in your mind to now focus on what brings you joy. With your mind clear and full of joy, use your tummy muscles to push out all the air through your mouth. As you breathe out, push away all the worries and thoughts you don't want over the first orange layer of your dam. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm and your mind to be still here. Take a moment to think of something that makes you smile. Whenever you want to build your body and your mind up strong, you can remember our time together in this blocky, creative world of Minecraft. I am so happy to spend time with you because there's no one in this whole world like you. I hope you can use what you learned here to be the best you possible. Always remember, Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again.